let's tie some of the ideas that we have already seen together. We might decide that we want to increase the efficiency of our system. But how are we going to do this? Well, we learnt that we could maximise the useful energy output. And if we ask how that can be done, we would decide that we needed to minimise the wasted energy output. But how are we going to minimise the wasted energy? Well, for moving parts, we will often lubricate them. We can stop things like houses from leaking heat by insulating them. And we can reduce air resistance by streamlining. So let's take a look at an example of a system whose efficiency we might want to increase. So our example is of a fan. So here is our handheld fan. And it's rotating on an axle around the middle. The whole point in this fan is to get the blades to spin to push air into our face. So the desired energy transfer is from the chemical energy store of the battery into the kinetic energy of the blades of the fan. So that's the useful energy output there. But the way we're going to make this more efficient is by reducing the wasted energy output. So let's remind ourselves what that is. The wasted energy output will be the energy lost as heat. And that's the part that we want to try to minimize. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE physics and combined science videos, just click on the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.